today we are going to write python code to predict home prices using a machine learning technique called simple linear regression in this table i have the prices of home based on the area of that home in my neighborhood in monroe township new jersey using this data we'll build a machine learning model that can tell me the prices of the homes whose area is 3300 square feet and 5000 square feet you can plot available uh, prices and areas in form of a scatter plot like this where this red marker shows the available data points now we can draw this blue line which best fits these data points once i have this line i can tell the price of any home basically i can say okay 3300 square foot home is gonna be this price once I have the linear equation. Now you might ask, how did you come up with this blue line? Because this line is not going through all these data points and there are number of ways you can draw different lines, like for example, this red and orange, okay? So why did I choose this blue line? What we do is we calculate this delta, which is an error between the actual data point and the data point which is predicted by uh, your linear equation we square individual uh, errors and we sum them up and we try to minimize those so we do this procedure for all these lines so for orange red and blue line I repeated that procedure and what I found was this blue line was giving me the minimum error hence I chose that line now if you remember from your algebra class uh, during your school days then you uh, you have probably learned uh, the linear equations which looks like y is equal to mx plus b where m is a slope or gradient and b is an intercept in our case uh, the slope is m here uh, but the y is price and uh, an x variable is area area is called an independent variable whereas price is called a dependent variable because we are calculating price based on this area now we are going to write python code uh, for doing home price predictions here i have launched my jupyter notebook and i have imported some uh, useful libraries the most important library here is from sklearn import linear model so sklearn is the library it is also called scikit-learn so if you uh, Google it, you will find that this is the library we are using and it comes uh, with uh, Anaconda installation. So once you have installed Anaconda, you should have this library available uh, for import. I have uh, the prices available in form of this CSV file. So the first thing I'm going to do is load this prices in pandas data frame pd dot read csv name of the file is home prices dot csv and i have the data frame now if you don't know about pandas and data frame i recommend you watching my tutorials on pandas because pandas is going to be extremely useful uh, in your machine learning journey once I have a data frame, uh, next thing that I'm going to do is uh, plot a scatter plot just to get an idea on uh, the distribution of my data point. Okay, and you all know uh, if you have used uh, Jupyter Notebook before, is that you have to use uh, matplotlib inline magic uh, in order to draw the plots. And first, I'm going to uh, plot dot scatter so I'm going to plot area versus price okay now I'll make some modification and I will set color to be red marker to be plus I'm just making my chart little fancy and then also setting X and Y label because you can see that X and Y labels are not available right now so the X label would be area in square feet and y label is 
the price in US dollar okay so this is square feet area and US dollar price all right so once I look at this plot I get an idea that the distribution is suitable for a linear regression model and hence I will now go ahead and use the linear regression okay so first you need to create a linear regression object so you can see that from sklearn uh, python module i have already imported linear model and here linear regression so i will create an object for linear regression and then i will fit my data so fitting the data means you are training uh, the linear regression model using the available uh, data points okay now the first argument has to be like a 2d array so you can supply your uh, data frame here so i am going to supply a data frame which only contains area okay and the second argument would be uh, your y-axis on your plot which is your price so when I execute this it worked okay without any error which means now this linear regression model is ready to predict the prices so let's do a prediction so what we wanted to predict was the price of a home whose area is 33 100 square feet and you can see that it predicted this price now you might be wondering why it came up with this price so let's look at some of the internal details so when I train uh, my regression uh, linear regression object using this available data what happened is it calculated the uh, coefficient and intercept so if you go back to our mathematical equation uh, you know that for any linear equation there is a slope and intercept this is also called a coefficient so my model calculated the value for m and b so let's see uh, what are the values okay so when you do reg.coef it will show the value of coefficient which is this m And when you do intercept this is showing you the the value for this B okay so now the equation for price is M into area plus B okay so now we have M area and B so let's see what value it gives so y is equal to M into X plus B okay and here uh, m is uh, this number so let me just copy it into x x is the area that you want to predict so area you want to predict is 3300 and your intercept is this okay so when you execute this you get this value so now you know how it was able to predict this value right here okay Similarly, if you change this to the second value that we wanted to predict was the 5,000 square feet. So for 5,000, you can just do this and you get this value right here. So this is pretty amazing. Now you have a model which you can use to predict your home prices. Uh, you might have a CSV file like this where you have list of prices, a list of areas available and you want to predict uh, the prices for these homes right um, until now what we did is we were individually giving the number, the area and we are predicting the prices so what i want to do now is generate another csv file where i have these list of areas and their corresponding uh, prediction on on prices uh, so for this uh, i will create a data frame first using a read csv so here 
first I created a data frame. I have a list of areas available. Uh, now I will use regression model uh, to actually predict the prices. Okay, so I'll just supply D here and that will return me the prices. So you can store uh, the prices in variable P and then what you can do is in your original data frame you can create a new column so when you do like this it will create a new column in your data frame and you can assign p here okay and now when you print your data frame you can see the prices are available and then you can just use two csv method to uh, export the value to prediction.csv so if i open my prediction.csv uh, you will now find that i have area and prices it imported it exported actually the index as well and if you don't want to do that then uh, index is equal to false if you do that and execute this again and now if you open prediction.csv you won't find the index it will be just area and prices as you can see here okay so once you have this model built in you can apply this model on a huge csv file and come up with a list of uh, predictions now going back to our original example uh, so let me go back again here and read my original prices and do a fitting on that. Uh, what I want to show you is uh, how does my uh, linear equation line look, okay? And for that, I'm again plotting a scatter plot and along with the scatter plot, so this much line of code will just uh, plot the scatter plot and I have added one more line where I'm using uh, data frames area and I am predicting the prices and plotting them on the Y chart so uh, let's see what happened here so df dot area is not defined so that has to be df dot area here okay so let's go step by step. So here I have my scatter plot, and what I'm doing is plt dot plot on my x axis I want df dot area, and on my y axis I want to I want to predict area like this. Okay, so it shows uh, the visual representation of my linear equation here. All right, so that's all I had for this tutorial. I have an exercise for you guys. Uh, what you want to do is, uh, given uh, Canada's adjusted net national income per capita, you want to predict the net income in year 2020. I have provided a CSV file in the exercise folder. So if you go to GitHub and download my notebook, and I have, by the way, the link of Jupyter Notebook available in the video description below. So download the notebook, study it first, and then download the exercise folder. In the exercise folder, you will find this CSV file, which has uh, Canada's uh, per capita in income, for the year 1970 to 2016 and your job is to find out the predicted uh, income in year 2020. I highly recommend that you do the exercise because just by watching the video you are not probably going to learn that much. I mean you learn something but it's not very effective so it's, it's better that you do some practice as well. Uh, as we go through these tutorials and I'll make sure I provide uh, simple exercises at the end of every tutorial. Okay, 
So again, just to summarize, this tutorial was all about building a simple linear uh, regression model using one variable. And in the future, we are going to cover a uh, little more complex uh, linear uh, regression models. Thank you. Bye.